What's up, uh, people? This is Davo Wabo, and I'm bringing you a video on Storm today. Storm again. Like, I thought I just uploaded a good gameplay video on Storm, but hey, I got another one. And I get like 44 kills in this game. Uh, and it's a team deathmatch, so considering that stuff, um, I thought it was pretty good. And I thought it was uh, worth uh, uploading, and well, that's what I'm doing. So, uh, yeah, I'm running the UMP silenced. Uh, so Try hard, I know, but uh, as I told in my, as I said in my previous video, <clears throat> it's like um, this is like one of my favorite classes. You have the UMP silence, you have sleight of hand, and you have stopping power and ninja. I love this class. It's probably my favorite class uh, of every class in the game, and yeah, it's uh, I do very well with it. So um, yeah, that's why I'm using it, and I find it to be pretty fun. So uh, let's go around here and see if we can find some enemies. I don't like like the spawn. I don't like the spawn area you get. You know, if you play this map, you know you spawn like outside the map on on this side. I don't like that. I was like, what the fuck when I first got killed from there? <laughs> like, oh my god, people are glitching and stuff. I don't like that place. I find it, find it to be unnecessary. Um, but you know, stuff like that happens. So storm. What's what's the to say about storm? I think. Storm is probably my favorite map of uh, of the stimulus map pack. Of course, I like Crash, and I think Overgrown is okay. Uh, not my favorite though, uh, but Storm I find to be pretty fun to play on. It's um, yeah, I find it to like be fun in general. And I get a nice uh, triple kill there with my Predator, and uh, I think I'm running the Predator Harrier and yeah, Pablo. And I get my Vorgasm. Wow! Vorgasm with 5, uh, <laughs> 7, and 9. That's pretty good. So I see like a bunch of red dots up in this room, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna noob to them. And I don't get a kill, but um, I did from my Simtex, so that was pretty neat. So I'm going up here, and they all disappear. Um, that stuff happens. And I jump here, and uh, uh, I think I like randomly, yeah, randomly a dude appears in front of me, goes into last stand, but I kill him with my M4A1. Um, I like this game. I used to play with it a lot, like when I first started this game. I played a lot with the, the this gun, and uh, I find it to be a pretty nice all-round gun. Quite easy to use and quite effective. But uh, yeah, so my Harrier did some nasty work right there. Got me plenty of kills, and yeah, that's that's what you wanted. What you wanted to do, like sometimes lately, or like most of the times lately. I get, I get into games where people will shoot down my air support instantly. <laughs> games where I should rather have run like um, 5, 6 and 9, you know? Because you can't like really take down the the like bombers. Uh, <laughs> but I found that, I find like g games where my Harrier will get like 1 kill or 0 kills and it happens so regularly right now. Um, but I guess uh, people are learning, and that's good to see. Um, you don't want overpowered kill streaks to kill you over and over. At least I don't. <laughs> so, um, so I let my Harrier do the work, and um, then after it went away, I called in my Pablo, uh, which is something you want to do because uh, I I I know it's tempting to call in both at the same time, but uh, in reality, first off. The enemy team will get like, oh my god, so much air support, I gotta take it down. So they, <laughs> they're more more willing to take it down. Uh, secondly, um, if if you're unlucky, they can shoot down like say the Harrier, and it will explode and destroy the Pablo. That happens to me like that has happened to me plenty of times. So you don't want that that to happen. And um, third off, uh, they're competing for kills. So basically, the Harrier and the Pavlo are going to compete for kills, and they won't get as much uh, kills each as they would if you called in one after the other. So that's what I did, and thought it worked out pretty well. Though of course they took down the Pavlo pretty fast, and uh, I pick up this R H right here with the Noob Tube on. Pretty nice setup, uh, of course. You can say what you want about Noob Tubes, but, um, but that's what I picked up. And this is ridiculous right here. 
Like seriously, did that guy really hit me from <laughs> from that far away? I thought it was like outside the building and everything, but uh, whatever. So I throw my Semtex here. Want to get back to that place where where I get killed, uh, which is I don't know something you probably shouldn't do unless you really want the revenge kill, because <laughs> uh, often people are gonna wait or expect you to come back and. Then you're just gonna run into their trap, and that's a problem. But as you can see, I try to keep myself mobile the whole time. Um, I keep try to move move as much as I can around the map, and I don't want to post like boring gameplay where I just camp or stuff. And that guy kills me randomly. Be a little shaky, shaky with the controller, and throw some grenades over there. Get a lucky headshot right there. I didn't even aim for his head. <laughs> Did you see that? I didn't even aim for that guy's head. But uh, that's the game, that's the name of this game. Um, so see this uh, sniper dude, don't know what he was doing. Going slowly up the hill. And uh, I'm trying to get my, my uh, ooh, well, that sucks. I did not expect that guy. Uh, but I'm trying to get my killstreaks back up, uh, which is uh, key in this game. Killstreaks are like everything that matters in this game. But I think I got most of them from the first like streak that I had. Uh, I went like on a really nice streak the first, um, my first life, so, uh, but I'm still getting kills around here, and uh, doing some, trying to find some enemies, doing some searching around, can we find anyone, get our UAV, that's always a lot of help, uh, the most underrated, or underused and underrated killstreak of, uh, of uh, this game, the UAV. A very powerful tool, and I suggest at least one of your uh, teammates to <laughs> have a UAV equipped, because it's gonna help everyone out. And I think I'm getting close to my uh, predator again. I see a bunch of red dots up here, and I'm like spraying around. These people are, were like noobs that I played with. I realized that now <laughs> when I watched the video, and I think I killed myself right here. Or yeah, I killed myself right there. That stuff is gonna happen, you know. Can't always go perfectly. Uh, but yeah, I think the game is coming to an end. Uh, pretty nice game. Get a nice double kill right here. And uh, yeah, it wasn't actually a double kill, but it should have been. You know what I'm saying? It should have been a double kill right there. And then randomly killed from the side. So, so that's the game. And yeah, question of the day. I'm gonna leave you with a question. You gotta answer it down below. And today I'm gonna ask, would you like to see uh, a bare bones setting or a bare bones set list uh, without any perks? Because I know Infinity Ward is adding bare bones without kill streaks, but you know I would kind of like to see bare bones without perks as well. Because um, yeah, 